Good afternoon and welcome once again to my daily chat. This is episode number 620, 620. And the topic today is, are you single on Valentine's Day? Here are some ways to enjoy it because for many people, Valentine's Day is a day when you're single that sucks. I'll get to that in a minute. In a minute. Before I do that, let me choose myself so you know who I am and what I'm about. My name is Barry Selby. I'm a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert. And I help women and some men create balance in love, life, and business. So I'm, re- I'm just starting using a new framing because I took out something from what I used to say, and I talked about that a few days ago. So I'm now just focusing, more generally speaking, on women. Anyway, so um, I'm a passionate champion for the divine feminine as well, which is what inspires these talks. Hi, Della, and I see my broadcast. Thanks for joining me once again. And this one's a Valentine's Day themed. Anyway, before I get to that, so as I said in my introduction just a second ago, <laughs> I'm a passionate champion for the divine feminine, which led to me doing these talks starting in you know, actually December before uh, two years ago, so 2016. Yes, so it's over two years ago, called Messages for the Masculine, Inspiring Your Feminine Heart. And so today we're at episode number 620. And the title again today is... Um, are you single on Valentine's Day? Here are some ways to enjoy it. Recapping yesterday's talk, which was talking about how Valentine's Day could end up in heartbreak because that was about being in a relationship or the pressure in a relationship on Valentine's Day. Here's a good thing. If you're single, there's no pressure on you on Valentine's Day. <laughs> I did speak about the fact that some people think they need to be in a relationship by Valentine's Day, which is a lot of pressure in three days because it's only three days away. But I want to speak to what you can do for yourself and the ways that serve you on Valentine's Day. But before I do that, oh yes, you're staying with Netflix and a huge pizza. That's a very smart move. I was gonna to get to that one, so you beat me to it. But yes, Netflix, <laughs> that's a wise move. I've got something something similar plan for myself, so I, agree, I understand where you are. Um, but before I get to that, let me just first do what I did yesterday, which is to um, <laughs> blow up, <laughs> like boom. Valentine's Day as a special day because frankly even though I'm in the love and relationships arena Valentine's Day is one of my pet peeves because it is not the day it really is meant to be let me say this another way again I shared about this yesterday but Valentine's Day is is um, the commemoration of St. Valentine but St. Valentine's or St. Valentine excuse me it's not a pretty story he was murdered. He was killed. He was he was executed for for um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Not portraying for um, professing his love to to a woman who he shouldn't shouldn't have been professing it to. So now we have Valentine's Day, which is a celebration of love, created, perpetuated, and profited by Hallmark. So I have a big pet peeve about that. Anyway. That was yesterday's talk. I invite you to watch that one. Let me get back to this one because this is this is specifically for those people who are single, like myself. Valentine's Day, in some ways, is just another day. So if you want to treat it like that, go right ahead. There's no because the thing about Valentine's Day, and I talked about this yesterday too, is it seems that like a lot of restaurants, their prices go up on Valentine's Day because they want to maximize their profits from the love. Um, um, what's the word? Obliviated? No, that's not the word we use. I think it's a Harry Potter term. Um, the 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 love blinded people, so the prices on the menus go up for that day. They do they do special Valentine's specials, which are basically taking some of their regular food, putting it together, and put the price up four times. So going out to eat on Valentine's Day may not be the best choice. So if you're single, doing something else, it definitely creates. So here's some of the ideas I was thinking about today. And because Valentine's Day is in three days, I want to give you some suggestions and ideas. One of the things you can do on Valentine's Day, because Valentine's Day, sorry, let me do the other way around. Valentine's Day is a lot um, of focus around the, around the theme of love, obviously. However, if you're single, there are plenty of ways you can express love in the world that are not creepy, <laughs> that are not um, illegal, and that are not um, challenging. Here's the things you can do. You can go out and serve the homeless on Valentine's Day. Now, you can do this every day as well, but I'm just suggesting this because of Valentine's Day being love-centric. Here's the things you can do to share your gifts. Go out and do things of service. Be loving in action for people around you. Maybe go to the animal shelter and play with the animals. Maybe adopt one. I'm not saying you should, but maybe you do. The rescues especially. 
Um, maybe you go, say, feed the homeless, or you go to a hospital and you go into the elderly ward and you just visit some of the elderly people. These are ideas I'm talking about because if Valentine's Day is really about love, why not express it beyond the confines of, oh crap, I don't have a partner, when you're single? So a lot of people look at Valentine's Day as, and I, and I did myself a long time ago, so I'm not immune to this, that Valentine's Day was such a bad day because we were single. That was like, if you're single on Valentine's Day, you're screwed, kind of thing. And it's not true. One, because Valentine's Day is a made up day, as I mentioned, and secondly, being single isn't a bad thing, as I also mentioned. In fact, I think for a lot of people being single is a good thing to do some of the time when they are doing relationships back to back to back. Sometimes being single is a healthy place to be able to reflect on being yourself as a whole being. That's another topic, another time. So my intention with this little chat, the invitation, is to treat yourself in loving action, to give love, and also um, to receive love on Valentine's Day. So in the receiving arena, if you're single, this would be a great time to uh, maybe go to the beach or go down by the water in the evening, watch the sunset, and just really enjoy and embrace the love of the ocean or the love of nature, if that's what you feel like, going to the mountains or into the trees and hiking or something like that. Um, going to the spa and treating yourself to something nice at the spa could be a good thing to do on Valentine's Day just for yourself because you deserve it. These are all sort of things you can do that are very simple and very self-nurturing, which are what I'm really getting to. Valentine's Day can be a good excuse to start treating yourself better than you've treated yourself to this point. Now, we can all do better when treating ourselves with love and kindness because that's part of the journey we're on together, all of us. And if you choose to take on this um, opportunity to do that on Valentine's Day, your, in, your opportunity, your, <laughs> your invitation for more homework is to keep doing it after that day. So if you do go out and feed the homeless, or you do go down to the beach and enjoy the sunset, or you do go and get yourself a treat, treatment at the spa, don't just do it one time a year. Do it more regularly. One of the reasons being is because the more you take care of yourself and the more, more you allow yourself to express love and receive love, it puts you in the energetic of love, which is a good thing to be when looking for a relationship. That's a clue, by the way. And secondly, you're making a bigger difference on the planet, which isn't a bad thing, because we could use some more positive influence on the planet, individually and collectively. So that's a little subterfuge I'm putting out <laughs> to raise the vibration of the planet for all of us. On another level, to put yourself first in the way of giving love or receiving love is something many people out there haven't done. Especially when it comes to a relationship. They put themselves into second place or put themselves into a place of, um, I won't say subservience, but settling for what the best, settling for what they think is the best they can get or put in situations they don't want to be in ultimately. Now, yesterday I mentioned, I'm going to sidebar on this piece for a moment. I talked about how a relationship could be ending in broken hearts because of the expectations and the pressure put on relationships around Valentine's Day. Again, one of the reasons why being single at Valentine's Day can be a good thing. Also at that point is where people sometimes wake up to the fact that the relationship they're in isn't working. So, putting that back on yesterday and get back to today, being single on Valentine's Day can be a good time to take stock. And to take stock not only about yourself and where you are in your life and what you feel about love, but also your past relationships. Yes, I'm gonna bring up that. <laughs> to reflect on your past relationships and see where you can send love and kindness to those people back there, both your partner and yourself, back in those relationships, can be something to, really, to do really special on Valentine's Day, to make, some, make it, to actually make Valentine's Day as a single person sacred. And I'm gonna explain this a bit more because this is actually something I didn't realize if I said it, how profound this can be. If you're a single person who is um, maybe carrying hurt or regrets from the last relationships. I did talk about heartbreak a little bit yesterday. Here's an opportunity to heal some of that so you can move forward and track to a healthy relationship. And you're welcome, this is a gift. <laughs> On Valentine's Day, and you can do it right now if you want to, is to take time, first of all, to make a sacred space. So maybe you want to light some candles, or have, if, it's quite, if it's winter, put, some, put a fire on so you can actually be warm. But do something where you can make a space to do it energetically. So you carve out some time, maybe you turn your cell phone off, maybe TV off, computer off, everything else off, so you can be present with yourself. And take the time if you wish to, 
to simply send loving energy. So again, you can put your hands over your heart. So you can put your hands over your heart or do it through meditation or just through whatever works for you energetically to send love from yourself to your past relationships. Doesn't matter what they did wrong, whatever they, however they got hurt or wounded from that, send love to those past relationship partners and to yourself in those relationships. And go back, as far as, go back as far as you want. It may only work for the most recent one for you. You may not have any memory beyond that that really sticks that goes, oh, that I want to send love to. But frankly, if you can go back and send love to all of your exes, back to, say, when you were a child even, and send love to your parents, these little pieces, what they're going to do is they're going to free up energy. As well as doing that, they're going to start to lessen the wounding inside. And so by sending love back to those past relationships, and again, to yourself in those relationships, as well as to your youth, you start to free yourself from those bondage of past wounds and hurts that you may still be carrying around. It's actually part of the homework I give my clients when I'm working with them to coach them through their history and, re and releasing that old baggage they can move forward in a healthy relationship. You can do this for yourself. Again, my gift to you for Valentine's Day. Don't say I don't give you anything. So taking the time to spend in loving energy and sending love to your past relationships frees up yourself to love more. And so in the, very pre in the present moment of doing this, whilst you're putting love back there to your history, your past relationships, what you're actually doing is replenishing the love inside yourself. And you start to fill up more and more with your own loving. Doing that Valentine's Day is a very smart move. It also creates space going forward because what you're now doing is changing your experience about relationships and the way the world sees you changes too. And as strange as this sounds, by putting that energy into yourself, you put yourself out in the world in a different way. And what you do is become more attractive to what you want to attract, which is a powerful way to be. And by the, work, and by the way, when I work with women particularly, in my coaching, a lot of the work we do is about attracting because the feminine energy is a magnet pulling in what it wants. And if you're not getting what you want, you may want to change your focus, and that's one of the one things I do with my clients. So I'm sorry, I want to say more about that. I'll go back on this track. Let's go back on this track first. So again, making yourself more attractive, not by doing makeup and hair and that sort of stuff, although that's something you can do at certain times, but by changing your inner state around relationship with love and your past relationships. It's like dropping weight off your shoulders and dropping lines off your face. So it, it is a makeover <laughs> in an interesting way. So that's a powerful piece you can do. And that was actually what I didn't plan on doing this one. I was going to talk about doing spas and other things, but frankly, doing the inner work by doing this simple and intimate practice for yourself can change your relationship with everybody before and and also change everything with relationship with everybody coming up. So new friendships and in fact, taking that one step further, that healing of past relationships. If you have any discord, upset feelings, wounding with past uh, friends or family members, do the same thing with them. Send love to those people. Again, hand over your heart, everyone do that. Send love to them and to yourself in those relationships because it frees you more easily. And the more freedom you have, the more able you are to love going forward. And that can be the biggest gift you can give to yourself this Valentine's Day. Actually, that's a pretty good, I like that one. That's, I'm, I'm gonna use that in my, more in my coaching than I've been doing this. I realize how powerful this is. So again, you're welcome. <laughs> so um, I'll put a couple of links in the comments one about a discovery session with me if you want to talk about this further or go deeper in your own work. Um, and because this is about love and supporting yourself, I'll put the self-love practice link in the comments as well because this Valentine's Day is not always about love out there. It's also about love in here. And the self-love practice will help you with that. Um, and it's got a couple of audio tracks on it from me guiding you through the meditation so you actually can do it more easily. This is three days out from Valentine's Day, so I'm sure there'll be more to talk about in the next couple of days. Maybe not. We'll see what happens. If you haven't seen my broadcast before, I do these every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time on Facebook Live. Um, sometimes it changes because I did do yesterday later because of Sunday was a, screen, was a busy day. So you can find me on Facebook Live on my personal page at 5 p.m. every day doing this. You can go to facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby to find these and join me live every day, seven days a week. And also, um, if you want to be notified somewhere in this video, if you're watching it, there should be a button that lets you click on replay so you can, or sorry, excuse me, notify when I go live. So you can watch me next time live. Secondly, I save the replays of this onto my business page on Facebook, which is facebook.com forward slash barryselby.author. And then thirdly, it goes onto my YouTube channel because you might be watching this on YouTube wondering, we're still at Facebook Live. So on my YouTube channel, uh, if you search for my name, Barry Selby, which is my name on everyone's social media, 
you can find my, my um, channel, which you can please subscribe to. And on there is a playlist called Messages from the Masculine. And subscribe to the, you can subscribe to my channel and then watch in that playlist all of my Facebook Lives. Going back two years if you want to. I'll keep you busy. Try binge watching those. <laughs> Uh, that's the three. So fourth, I have a podcast that I've been building out on iTunes called Messages from the Masculine. You can subscribe to that as well. And you can download the audio tracks of my early talks. So with that, um, I thank you for watching. I do invite your questions, comments, and thoughts. Please put them in the comment field below. Whether you're watching on Facebook or on YouTube, I'll respond. Um, but take this on for homework. This is what I recommend if you're single for Valentine's Day to do something like this. Any one or all of the things I mentioned. Transform your relationship with love transform your relationship with yourself and they'll then attract a much healthier relationship going forward it is okay let me say this one more time it is okay to be single on valentine's day you have my permission <laughs> as if you need it but the reality is being being single on valentine's day is not a curse it's not a black mark and there's nothing wrong actually there are people on valentine's day in relationships who shouldn't be so being single could be actually healthier so i'm standing firm for you in that place Again, I'll put links in the comments for a discovery session, discovery session with me um, so we can talk further if you want to get some help and also the self-love practice because, frankly, if you're single, loving yourself more is a smart move. Um, I think that's about it. I appreciate you being with me and watching. I'll be back again tomorrow, 5 p.m. Pacific time, with another topic, perhaps like Valentine's Day themed. And uh, I'll invite you once again to take care of yourself. With that, I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care. Bye.